Nintendo revealed a short two minute trailer for its new game on the Switch, Super Mario Bros. 3D World plus Bowser's Fury. It's not so much a new game as they're bringing an older game, Super Mario Bros. 3D World, to the Switch that originally came out on the Wii U. Now, I've always been a Nintendo fan my entire life. I've owned all of their systems from the Nintendo, Super Nintendo, all the way up until the Wii and the Nintendo DS. And I stopped at the Wii U because it was the Wii U. And I never really got back into the Nintendo systems since, so I lost track of a lot of the Mario franchises and Zelda, and I haven't been keeping up with the games that have been released until recently. Now that I have a Switch, it's kind of rekindled my love for their products, and I just finished a four-day live stream of New Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe on the Switch. That game is amazing. As I was playing through, people kept asking me if I was going to get the new Super Mario Bros. 3D World, and I've never heard of it. It looks pretty good, and with the Switch release, Nintendo is releasing an expansion called Bowser's Fury. Nobody knew anything about Bowser's Fury until today. Maybe a little screenshot or a tiny video snippet, but that was it. So this morning, Nintendo releases a two-minute trailer for Bowser's Fury. I have to admit, it was pretty amazing. It seems the whole trailer is centered around the cat theme that came from Super Mario 3D World, as everything around you has some kind of cat art or architecture to it. To include a very large cat bell that gets revived from like being in a stone enclosure or something and activates. The trailer goes on and you see Mario collecting these cat medals which I'm not sure if it's new to this game or if they're in Super Mario 3D World. But I'm all about the collectibles. I love getting the three coins in New Super Mario Brothers. So the first big thing that popped out was that Bowser Jr. is following you around and I'm not sure if I like that. I don't really like Bowser Jr. He's not my favorite. I'm hoping that he's a playable character and you don't have to see him around you the entire time. And worst case scenario for me at least is that he's a part of the gameplay mechanic and you have to be with him through the entire game. But he's there. He also has the paintbrush that he used in Super Mario Sunshine to frame Mario and make him clean up the town. One of the reasons I don't like him. But it seems that maybe him working with you is integral to the story because the next scene blew me away. They finally revealed what Bowser looks like and he has never looked more menacing and monstrous. He looks so cool. He looks scary and dangerous for the first time in the Mario series that I can remember. I also noticed you can see Bowser in the background when you're playing through some stages and that would be really cool if that happened throughout the game. You could always see this menacing spiky turtle in the background that you know you're gonna have to eventually fight. I don't know what's going on here. And at the end of the trailer you see Mario jump and touch the giant cat bell which in turn makes him grow into a Super Saiyan cat. It's almost funny because when you compare Super Saiyan cat Mario to Angry Bowser it's not even a matchup. But the game does look very very nice. It looks like the stage variety looks good. New puzzles, new elements. There's this part where you're crossing a bridge and all these birds start pecking at you. I'm so impressed with the game I've actually already pre-ordered it and this is the first modern game I've pre-ordered in over 10 years and that's how much I got those feelings back when I started playing these games on the Switch and I love this system. I've only had it for a few months but the Switch has really really brought back a lot of nostalgia for me. And because of that I've been looking up all these old Mario and Zelda games that I've missed out this past decade and there's a lot. So to get myself ready for Super Mario 3D World I figured I would play the first game, which I didn't even know existed on the 3DS, Super Mario 3D Land. I'm going to be live streaming it this weekend. Well, starting this weekend, if it takes as long as the new Super Mario Brothers game I just streamed. It's going to take a few days to finish. But I'll make sure I let everybody know when that live stream happens, because I think it would be fun to play it together. Have you seen the new Bowser's Fury trailer? And if so, what did you think about it? And do you think it's a great addition to Super Mario 3D World? Did you play the original on the 3DS? And if you have, what did you think about that? Have you already pre-ordered the game? Do you think this is the most amazing Bowser we have seen to date like I do? Leave me a comment below. I'd love to hear what you guys think about this stuff. So that's it for me. Don't forget to check out the live stream I'm going to be doing this weekend on Super Mario 3D Land for the 3DS and all the other live streams I'm sure I'll be doing in the future for these Nintendo games. So as always, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. I'd like to thank those users who support the channel through YouTube memberships and Patreon. Door, Dirtnap79, Rick67, Geo, Jason Holbrooks, James Burkhart, Red Silvers, Mike Muniz, Yaroslav Orudzov, 
Andre G, Din Cardoso, James McEwen, Travis Is Win, Jeremy Mullins, Bob, Lynn Mayer, and Batman.